Hello my friends, this is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q, and we are in my kitchen. I'm going to be grilling up some steaks today, and I always think that the best thing to go with steaks as far as a side dish is some creamed spinach. Yes, we are going to be making a easy and quick creamed spinach. I have another video that I did a couple of years ago where I did one that was sort of like a steakhouse style cream spinach. This process I'm going to use today is going to be totally different. Let's go do this. These are my ingredients to make cream spinach. I've got a, a little bit more than a cup of mozzarella cheese, a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, I've got one and a half, excuse me, one and a quarter cup of almond milk, I've got a pound of spinach that I've already taken the liberty of chopping, roughly chopping up. I've got a quarter cup of flour, a pinch of freshly grated nutmeg, salt and pepper to taste. I've got about a half a cup of onion chopped. I've got the equivalent of four cloves of garlic minced, two ounces of cream cheese, four tablespoons of butter, plus I'm gonna use about a ta one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. This cream spinach is gonna be cooked in one pot. Yes, I'm gonna cook it in one pot. I've got fresh spinach, which I'm not gonna boil first and drain it. I'm gonna do it all in this pot without having to go back and forth with the ingredients. We're gonna start out by first melting our butter in our olive oil. And we'll get that melted. My butter and my olive oil are ready for the onions to first go in. And I'm gonna add those and cook them for a couple of minutes until they're translucent. I'm now gonna add my garlic. We'll give that a few seconds. Next in the pot goes our flour. I'm going to stir that around. And we're only cooking this long enough to get that rawness out of the flour. We're not trying to brown it or anything. Now it's time to add our milk, our almond milk. And we're going to add that slowly, stirring at the same time. And we're going to cook this until we get a bechamel type sauce. It won't be a sauce because it's going to be really thick. And let me tell you why we, why we are doing this. We're not adding a lot of liquid to this because remember I mentioned that we were going to cook that spinach in fresh. And there's a lot of moisture in spinach. And instead of first boiling it and then draining it and straining the water all off, we're going to do it this way and the spinach will provide the added liquids. And you see we've got that, it's pretty thick. We can get a little thicker, but not where we're burning it or causing it to become browned. You see we're pretty thick now. I'm gonna add in the spinach and incorporate that with that bechamel type sauces in there. I've got all the spinach in there now. Now it's just a matter of just rotating it a bit so that the leaves on the top get some heat and mix in with that bechamel.
We'll give that a few minutes for the spinach to wilt. I'm going to put the lid on for just a couple of minutes and that will help wilt that spinach in there. Now that's been about two or three minutes and you can see that it's quite wilted right now. And one of the things you just have to be aware of is just to make sure you stir it around a bit to make sure you get all of that spinach incorporated with that bechamel type sauce. Okay, now I'm going to add the salt and pepper. And I'm starting out with about a half a teaspoon of pepper and about a half a teaspoon of salt. I've also got some nutmeg I'm going to put in there. And that's probably, well it's not probably, it is about an eighth of a teaspoonful. And we'll mix that around. And see, we're almost done. All we have to do is put those cheeses in there and we'll have our cream spinach. Okay, I've got the mozzarella cheese and the cream cheese. I'm going to add that. And we'll get that blended in. One of the good things about this too is that if at any point you think that it's not fluid enough for you, you can always add a little bit more milk. I think we're good on this though. That cheese is melting. We're almost there. The only ingredient left to put in is my Parmesan cheese and I'll just sprinkle that around and incorporate it. And there we have it. Our green spinach is done. One pot. The only thing left to do is to check for seasonings and you do you. Ooh. Hot, hot. And actually, I, I hit the spot. The uh, cheeses have salt in them, so that adds to it. And one of the things to keep in mind, remember that I use almond milk. You can use whole milk, you can use heavy cream. Hubby likes almond milk, so I chose to use that in this recipe today. The other thing is that you can also leave out the cream cheese. You don't have to put that in there. You can also substitute various types of other cheeses instead of mozzarella. You could use something like Gruyere or something like that or Havarti, something that melts in a creamy fashion and that will also work. So here we have it, cream spinach.